Morning, gentlemen. This is Mr. Holding, and this quick video is looking at um, the use of data loggers to analyse motion. Now, um, the one we've got here is the GLX um, Explorer, the PASGO, um, and we'll have a quick look at it at the moment. So, when you open up, press home, it'll take you to this page here. And you, like um, you guys, are probably more tech savvy than I am, but you just navigate around with these. And um, the basic ones that I'm familiar with are the the meters, so that'll measure as you go. Um, there's a graphing function uh, down the bottom here, and the use of a table. So I would suggest that analyzing motion, the table is going to be most uh, most effective for what we're going to use. So we'll do that. So you go into there and you press play. Before we do that, I probably should show you this. Now this here um, is the motion analyzer. Okay, it's got a plug here. Okay and you'll notice that it matches up with this here. So you'll see a little flat bit in the bottom and you'll see a flat bit at the top there. They have to match up and align in nicely like that and they should work. Okay, so put that in there and in this case it came straight to a graph. Now if I press play, it will start it. Okay, now you can't see this but I'm moving my hand further to and, to and from it, okay, and that starts measuring it, all right? Now to get out of this, because we don't want to use this, we want to press home, okay, and I want to go to the table, because that's what I'm going to use, all right? So at the moment, it's got position, the run in meters. So this is measuring position or distance in meters. Forget about the values there at the moment, but we also want seconds because we want to do analyze motion. We generally want to do velocity and then changes in velocity and all those types of things. So what I want to do is if you'll see up here, um, you've got statistics, edit cell, edit, and tables. I want to go to tables and I want to show time. Okay, press play. All right, or select. And you'll notice the time down here. So at when zero at zero, at one, it was at three. At point one one, it was at 3.75, so there's movement, all right? Now, don't worry about this because it always has the previous one. So what we want to do is we want to set up, let's say, for instance, I'm going to have my phone going for a run. I'm going to set it up there. It will start as soon as I press play, okay? And we'll do a bit of an experiment here. Hopefully it works. And then play. And then stop. And as you can see, as the time progresses down the left hand side, you can see that the position or the distance, oh, that's no good. Position on the right hand side has gone as well. So we can see that the very first one, oh, sorry, I should move this up. So we're down at 15. Make sure you go start back at the, zip, the first reading. The first reading, it was at that was its starting position. So you'll notice that when I had it there, it wasn't touching. Well, it's saying that it was 12, um, 12.3 centimeters away from the PASGO recorder, which is probably about accurate. After 0.1 of a second, it was still there, still there, still there, still there. And if we move down, it wasn't until about one second in that the phone actually started to move, okay? And then it went 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16. Okay, so now you've got, um, you've, you've recorded your results and you've got the information, the data logger. I, the, the difficult thing then is identifying which information is useful and which is um, a waste of your time. So the first thing you wanna look at is uh, your position. And so with that table, you go back to the very start so the very first recording, and you look at the position of your object or whatever it is that you're, you're measuring. So in the instance that we used before, it was my phone. And we saw that my phone, the starting position was 0 0.12 metres. Okay, and you'll see this based on the way that we conduct our experiments and things like that, that the the recording will go down and there'll be quite a few of them at 0 0.12, 0 0.12. They might, they might, the first 10 or 15 might be 0 0.12. So that, that information is fairly useless because the, the object is not moving. Um, 
and so what we want to do is we want to look for that initial movement. We want to see whether where it goes from 0 0.12 to maybe 0 0.14 meters. And we can say, ah, we've started moving. This is when I want to start recording. Okay, so what I do is the one before I get movement, I want to record the time. And for argument's sake, let's that let's say that was 0 0.9 seconds. Okay, and then we start recording from there. Okay, so 0 0.14. Let's say this is 1.0, um, 0 0.17, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 0 0.5. And this is 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 seconds. Okay, obviously you're going to write them a lot neater than I would, but I'm in a bit. I'm trying to do this quickly to explain. Okay, so what we've got here is we can now work out our time. Our time is our final minus our initial. So we've got 1.5 seconds minus 0.9 seconds. That equals 0 0.6 seconds in total. All right, and then we've got the distance here because these are all meters. We've got 0 0.5 metres, distance equals 0 0.5 minus 0 0.12, uh, 0.38 metres. So I've ended up with a distance of 0 0.38 metres and a time of 0 0.6 seconds. So therefore I can go and calculate my velocity here, or my average velocity I should say. Um, for this particular period. There are other things that you can do with this. You can work out acceleration by working out the velo maybe the velocity here and the velocity here and the change in the two. Um, but for now, we're just doing the average um, distance. Oh, we're doing the average velocity, so we need a distance and we need a time. So we can go velocity equals distance over time equals 0 0.38 metres over 0 0.6 seconds equals... Self calculator, can't do it in my head. 0.38 divided by 0.6 equals 0.63 meters per second, which is fine because I was moving pretty slow. Um, okay, so that's how you use data loggers. I hope you found this helpful. They are tricky, so have a play with them. Um, take your time setting them up. Okay, particularly uh, making sure that when you use the, um, the motion detectors, you've got them aligned properly. There's nothing else in the way. There's no friends hanging over, um, shirts, ties getting in the way because the motion detector will pick those up and your, your results will be inaccurate. Okay, hope you found this helpful.